Welcome back, 547 on Daybreak, and today marks 100 days from the start of the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. And one of the most iconic and historic cities in the world is bustling with activity, and Team USA athletes are preparing for what should be an experience of a lifetime. This will be the third time Paris will host the Olympics, with the last time being 100 years ago. Matt Renault has the story. At the Paris 2024 Olympic headquarters. In the mix of sports and culture, it's going to be a fantastic moment. CEO Etienne Taubois is preparing for the Summer Games. Yeah, it's awesome and it's beautiful. Now, just 100 days from starting. The best athletes in one of the most iconic cities in the world. Very excited. With the opening ceremony floating down the Seine River. A six kilometer parade. Uh, along with those, that's those iconic venues and places, the Louvre and the Twitter and everything. And competitions set in temporary venues located at iconic Paris landmarks. They are open venues because they are temporary, they're existing venues. That architects like Francois Clement with American architectural firm Populous it makes it shine again. Are overseen. Working at 38 venues at the same time. It's like designing 38 stadia at the same time, and, and it requires a lot of organization. Cyclists will race on streets normally used for the last stage of the Tour de France. Got a, a friend who may, be, who may make the team, so if he, if he makes it, we're definitely gonna be here. While at La Concorde, athletes will compete in BMX freestyle, three-on-three -three basketball, skateboarding, and the debut of breaking. It's an opportunity for us to go higher and live off what we love doing. While back in the United States, athletes are hard at work all over the country. And they're in New York for the Team USA Media Summit, talking about their sports and the return of the Olympics after the restrictions of the last two pandemic games. It's gonna be cool to go back there again and see it in a much different capacity. Excited to have family and friends back in Paris. So we come after you know the Tokyo Games where uh, the pandemic uh, unfortunately didn't allow for spectators. Where ATN says they're just about ready for fans, athletes, and the world to celebrate in the city of lights, love, and in just 100 days, the Olympics. Looking forward to, to get that excitement going. All right, Daybreak Live from the Olympics. Let's, let's talk to, to the boss. That's what they told me. <laughs> oh, Love man. Live from a French city. bakery in South Buffalo, maybe, but not Paris. <laughs>